I made a video. It feels like it's been forever. But um, luckily, well not luckily, but my temp job ended. So um, I'm probably going to be home probably for like a week. So I'll have lots of time to make some videos, some well, um, well awaited vi videos. And um, today is a birthday haul slash book haul because I paid for some of it. But um, last night my birthday was great. Thank you so much to, um, to some of you who wished me happy birthday. I appreciate it. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I made it to 300. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. She, um, she caught a bird. Oh, it scared me. It was dead already, but still. So enough about my dog being a murderer. I went to, uh, last night, like I said, my birthday was great. Um, I got, for my aunt, I got, um, Gwen Stefani perfume. I don't know the name of it, but it smells really good. It's in a, um, like a turquoise and yellow box. And I got um, a $25 gift card to Kohl's. And from my grandma, I got $25. And from my mom and dad and nephew, as like a group gift, I got stuff to redo my room. So I'm very excited. I got a, um, a candle set, a three pillows for the bed, um, a bedspread, and a plant so I'm very very excited I love the colors I'm not going to show you guys what it is yet because I want you guys to be subs I want it to be like done because I want to put some shelves up and get some flowers like fake flowers and pictures and stuff so it's probably going to be a month or so until it's done but it's going to be cool so um anyway I've been rambling on forever this is a book haul a huge huge book book haul so if you guys have been complaining that I haven't been making enough book hauls this is going to be the one for you um, I went to the library, shut up, and I went to Half Price Books, and, um, I didn't get that many library books. Um, I got, where are they all, oh my god, they're everywhere, okay, Ugh. let's see, okay, the first book I got from the library was The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman and Alexi. And I was going to buy this at Half Price Books, but eh. um, everybody says that you would love this um, if you're a Jacob fan because he's an Indian um, and he lives on a res and stuff. So I thought that would be interesting. It's like a diary and there's like pictures and stuff like this. So I thought it would be a fun read. And um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So um, I'm excited to read it. Maybe it'll make me get in touch with my Jacob side for my fan fiction. That's kind of what I bought it for. So I can see, um, you know, kind of relate it to Jacob and my fan fiction. Thank you to all who have commented on it, by the way. And I also got The Vast Fields of Ordinary. And this is by Nick Bird. And this is about a homosexual boy, I think. Um, his name's Dade. And uh, Dade, uh, he graduated from an Iowa high school, and he watches his parents' um, marriage disintegrate, ends his long-term secret relationship, comes out of the closet, and savors first love. So this is definitely a um, growing up book, coming of age. And um, you know how I love gay books. I don't know what it is. I'm just odd. And I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I got this, um, so many people have said this is awesome, so I'm going to give it a chance. I should probably re-say that Wake wasn't as bad as I thought. I know, I'm wrong. I stand corrected. It wasn't that bad. Like, compared to House of Night, it's wonderful. It's like the Harry Potter of books. But, um, I'm going to try it again. So, I really, I started this, and I actually really liked it, so we'll see. Um, I love the spine, like, I, I want to buy Wake, even though I'm not a fan of it, just so I can have it in this next to it on my bookshelf. Is that weird? I don't know. It's kind of odd. Okay, and then the last book I got from the library, which I'm super excited for, is Crazy Beautiful, and this is by Lauren Baratz Logstead. And, um, I wanted this, like, for weeks and weeks, but it was out, and so I finally saw it, and I was like, choo, and I grabbed it, and it's a very easy read. And, um, let's see if there's a summary... In this contemporary retelling of Beauty and the Beast, a teenage boy whose hands are amputated in an explosion and a gorgeous girl whose mother recently died from form an instant connection on their first day as new students. So I think this is going to be a great book. So I'm really excited to read it. I love these kind of books that where 
somebody has like a problem and they're like destined to love like helps them work through it I think that's very a sweet um kind of book so I'm excited to read it for the books that I bought at half price books the first one I'm trying to make it quick because there's a lot and I don't want to really feel like editing this too much um, the first one is Ransom My Heart, and this is by Meg Cabot. Finula needs money for her sister's dowry and fast. And, um, she kidnaps this guy who is an earl, and she holds him for ransom so she can get the money for the dowry. And so, um, I think it's be very sweet, and they fall in love, of course. The Nanny Returns, and I love The Nanny Diaries. The, the movie was crap, but the book was awesome. And um, I feel about The Nanny Diaries how some people feel about the Shopaholic series. I know what they go through because I was a nanny for many, many years, and I adore the idea like of how she comes back and Grayer is kind of like a moody teen now, and he has a little brother, and how they work it out. So I'm very, very excited about that. And then I also got Vampire Academy just because, oh my, look at how beautiful it is. It's like barely been touched. And I started reading it and I know I like it. And the waiting list of the library was really long and it was there. And I thought, might as well, you know. So um, I just went ahead and got it because I know I'm going to like it. Lock and Key by Sarah Descent. I love Sarah Descent. She's one of my favorite authors. And, um, yeah, this was one of the books I wanted to read. And I also want to read Along for the Ride, but they didn't have that. I want to collect all of Sarah Dessen's books. So, it's called Another Faust. I saw it a long time ago, and I wanted to read it. And I was so happy that it was here. And doesn't this guy look like Zas Jasper from Twilight? I don't know. He just reminds me of Jasper. Uh, these guys, they, children vanish from their home. All those guys. And then they suddenly come back at a holiday party. And with their strange and beautiful go governess, Madame Villeroy. And they're kind of like a big thing, like all the like, gossip and stuff. And they have gifts. So um, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm very, very excited to read this. I didn't want to pay full price for it, but I'm glad that I got it at half price. Then, oh God, there's so many books, guys. You guys should be happy. Okay. Then I got some movies. I got The Desperate Housewives first thing on DVD, which I'm super excited for. Um, I, I, I saw the first, I saw like the second season, the first episode, and I never really got into it. And then I saw it again and I like fell in love with it, so I needed to buy it. And it was only eight bucks, I mean, God. Then I also got Cheaper by the Dozen because my nephew and I love that movie. I got Taking Lives because Angelina Jolie is awesome in this movie and Ethan Hawke is adorable. And the love scene is really hot, guys, if you've ever seen it. Woo! And the last movie I got is The Ring, because I have The Ring 2 on DVD. And I had this on VHS, and it just wasn't the same. So I'm really excited. I love, love this movie. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I have to hurry, because I have something cooking. Um, I got How I Lied. Wait, what I saw in How I Lied. Tell me if this is the first one, guys. The Wicked, and this is The Witch and Curse. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Before I Die, and this is by Jenny Downham. This is about this girl that's going to die. She has cancer or something. And um, she wants to have sex before she dies. And so it kind of reminds me, like, um, of uh, My Sister's Keeper a little bit. So we'll see. Then I also got The Maze Runner, which I heard was really good things about. And it was in perfect condition. And got that. Oh, my God, I have to hurry. And I also got... Last but not least, I was surprised to see this there. Swoon, and this is by Nina Malkin. That's all I got. Oh my god, it's everywhere. But yeah, I'm so excited about all the books I got. Thank you for all my birthday wishes and stuff. You guys are amazing, and I love you all. And I also, if you guys can't see it, I got a new lamp. And so my videos are going to be a lot better because the lighting is going to be better at night. So I'll be able to make more videos at night. So um, that will definitely broaden because I usually want to make videos at night anyway. Because I like this area, but it's better to do it from the computer. I don't know why. But yeah, so I also have a review coming up. It's for Leaving Paradise by Simone, Simone Eccles. And um, Future, it's good. You guys should get it. And I'm not sure what book I... I think I'm going to start reading Fallen. I read like two pages of it so far. So um, I'm finally reading fin Fallen. So yeah, that's it. That's it. I have like, oh my god, so much stuff around me. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.